Hello and welcome to Wine Baron on the Forgotten Hills map. This is episode 4 and we've got big plans. Um, if you recall in the last episode we were talking about starting a forestry venture. We've kind of just taken that and started to run with it. So this episode is all about building our new pallet production and sawmill and we're going to build it as we go down the hill here this little area here which I mean it's not flat but it's it's workable and we've got quite a few trees just across the road that we can start with and of course we'll plant more trees as we go along through these undulating hills just take a little drive around the area that I'm thinking of landscaping. So kind of up to about here and then back all the way to not quite the tree line of where the um, yeah, so we won't go all the way up here although that's also relatively flat that could be used to utilize for some other development. We'll go back around here a little bit further down maybe, maybe around about to there somewhere and we'll flatten that off. So let's get into the landscaping and just find an area. So I like to work from the road back so that we don't have to mess around with the level of the road and have any unnecessary differences in height between coming into the facility and getting back onto the road again of course. So let's just go and get that started. Let's pick, pick our area and going to level everything off more or less to that to that area there so as you can see that the depth or the land is either increasing or decreasing depending on where we are as long as we keep our our leveling our leveling of the land going it will take it all back down to that initial starting level so you can see on the left hand side that it is a bit of a dip there now not too bad not unmanageable I don't want to go right onto the onto the corner of the at least onto the road at the back here um, just because then it would look like we're driving through a through a um, gorge type situation but um, yeah so we've run out of money <laughs> uh, halfway through the leveling yeah it's not going to work you can do that as much as you want to if you ain't got money it's not going to do it <laughs> took me a little while to realize that we'd run out of money. Right, we'll go to, we have to go to the cap in hand to the bank. We can borrow 500,000. And we'll do it over 20 years. looking good. Right, so we can get back to the landscaping now. Now I did, at this point in time, I did um, 
add in an extra 500,000 into the game um, just to just as a backup so that we didn't just suddenly aut automatically just stop while we're finishing off this operation. I do at a later stage just take that back out again. With just a little bit of insurance if you want to call it that. <laughs> That's why it's showing showed a higher amount up there than the loan that we took. Yeah, so we've got this pretty well smoothed out now. It's kind of it's about exactly the right size that I want because we've got so much land. I I want to be able to move around the facilities that we make quite easily. I think we'll jump out and just take a drive around. See if we can find any little areas. Just push it out a little bit there. I've got to be careful with this top corner here. I don't want it to raise it too much around there. Right, just jump in the beast and just drive around. Make sure it's more that more or less smooth. And the raising of the land is not completely obtrusive, so I don't think we'll have to put trees all the way around, we'll just kind of decorate around there. And so most of that looks reasonably flat. Just have a look through the middle. Down this. Oh yeah, I can see some undulations there. Here we go here. Yeah. You can see a couple of bumps that will get those smoothed out and then I think that will be ready for building on. find an area to level it to. We want to level it to one of the higher areas so we'll use a slightly smaller brush this time. There we go. That's doing the job pretty nicely. Good stuff. That's the way it should be. Fantastic. Right, so now we need to start putting the buildings up. So we'll start with the pellet factory. It's one of uh, MS modding's factory, pretty much the same type of situation that, well, the same factory that we have for the for the wine production, except this one produces pellets and looks completely different inside. We'll look at that specifically in the next episode. It's worth it really really is a good mod. I'll put all the details in the description. Right and then, then this is the sawmill from the platinum expansion. Fairly small but it does produce all the required. So for the pallets we need beams, long planks and planks. And this um, 
supplies all of those so it's actually perfect for this operation. There we go, it's looking good. No real dumps or anything like that, so it's fantastic here. Let's have a quick run around the factory. I've left quite a bit of space between the two because um, to allow for bringing trees in and getting into the sawmill. We'll get all into into that in the next episode. Yeah, so my intention is to take up to about a 900,000 loan because we're going to have to get some machinery and some working capital, start planting some forests, etc. It's just a quick tour in the inside just to make sure there's nothing sticking through. We'll go through we'll go through this factory in detail in the next episode. Alright. It's, yeah, it's all it's all looking reasonably fat. It's a bit of a undulation here. But we'll see what we can do to minimize that. Or to conceal it more than anything else, I think. <laughs> Alright, I've just put on the The interactive markers just so that we can see where we are so we'll get wood chips out there and then this is where the various products will spawn and this is where we put the trees in the biggest problem with this is that it's got a roof over where you, you bring the trees in so we're going to have to work out we're gonna have to put it on well, it shouldn't be too much of a problem because it'll just take it straight off the trailers. Or if we bring the trees in, we'll just have to bring them in lying down as such. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Now we need to do some paving. Get that all paved up. Just put cement down in this. It's gonna, it's gonna to have to be fairly hard, hard wearing because it's gonna be big trailers and equipment coming in and out, as opposed to say the wine, the winery where it's tended to be slightly smaller machinery. So we'll just pave the whole lot. We've got nice decent working space. Yep, that's looking good so far. So as I briefly meant briefly mentioned the um, the pellet factory is going to require um, three inputs, planks, long planks, and wooden, wooden beams. So to start off with, I'm going to be cutting down trees that are sort of around the, the farm area. And um, I don't think they're the most productive trees in, in terms of of um, production, but it will give us something to start with while we wait for the um, the trees that we're planting. That's probably the next episode, or possibly the episode after that, to grow. It's going to take a little bit of a while. But 
this will keep us busy while we waiting for our vines to grow once we know how much we get from that from the vineyard that we've already planted we can work out how much to plant in the second area just make a nice wide entrance into here just put a bit of just clear it I'm not going to make it anything, anything special but I want a fairly big gap so that um, a very big entrance should I say we'll fence it in as well we'll fence it in the same as we fenced in the winery just to try and keep things fairly standard yeah it doesn't look too bad so far pretty happy with that so let's fence that off. So we'll use the same fencing that we did the last time. It's not the cheapest, but it looks nice. I'm thinking this fence will kind of disguise the the drop the dropping um, elevation yeah it does more or less just to detract from it it's more or less straight and the top area actually got quite a nice view over the little valley from the back of this uh, production there we go down the side now, as we come to the end of this side we need to have to be a little bit creative with the corner as I mentioned earlier I didn't really want to pull that up too much on the corner otherwise it's just look this to me it just doesn't look right so as you see it we get to where it says too steep to put the fence up so we're going to have to kind of cut the corner of it so there we go we know we can go to there and we'll cut the corner as such don't want to cut it too much because we need to be able to get around there quite easily about right we'll just move it out until as far as we can here we go that's that's good so we've got pretty much maximum turning space around there with a cut corner that's good all right so we've got a nice big entrance fenced off nicely Bit of bleeding of the of the concrete around the edges we'll have to get that sorted out yeah that looks good that looks good let's take a drive around seems fairly flat it doesn't look like there's any unnecessary bumps that corner is not too bad difficult to tell with the beast it's pretty small so but I think we'll get reasonable sized vehicles around there right let's get working on the the verges as such just put some grass down first the base you can work from there add bits and pieces onto it All right
just turn the music up a little bit and let you uh, enjoy watching me. It's quite a slow process and we've put it onto a bit of a time lapse. I'll see you once it's done. Right, just to cut back in here, I'm just busy laying down a couple of so slightly longer grass, and then after that we'll, uh, we'll put in the sort of meadow grasses and on top of that.
Well, it's a time to put in some trees now. Just to break up the hill slightly. It's not that bad with the meadow going up. But yeah, just to add a little bit. Don't want to put too much, too many in. We starting to run low on the funds. So far we're about 600,000 into this production. Take a while. It's going to take a while to pay itself back, but... Right, so that's looking fine. Looking fine. I'm not going to put up too many trees around there. Put the old uh, lights in to indicate the entrance to the facility. Put some spotlights up in the corners. Or some floodlights, should I say, not spotlights. won't cover everything but we'll see what the lighting is like when we when and if we're working in the dark Right, quite happy with the lights now. Let's put little bits of decoration out just to make it look look as well completely bare. Let's put it that way. <laughs> uh, also, we limited by funds as to how much we can put out. We've got about ten thousand to spend on that. As I said, we will be going for a second loan. It'll be about four hundred thousand. That'll be for initial working capital and purchasing or leasing equipment to get the operation going. It's probably going to be leasing because the uh, forestry equipment is very, very expensive. Especially the good stuff. You can, can do it just with, uh, with a chainsaw or such, but we've got this nice big facility we need to bring in reasonable amount of wood to keep it going. This probably won't be 100% efficient to start with but we'll build up to that over the time once our planted forests are, well, our forests are planted and grown we'll start Well, we'll be able to really push the production. Put some parking spaces in, out of the way so that they don't create too much of a problem. There we go. We need our good old trusty parking sign. That's good. Put a couple of vehicles in there just to park up. Where are they now? No, we don't need to put planks out. I'd rather put a couple of vehicles out just to make it look like there's somebody about. So much choice. I 
and I haven't even got all the decorative packages out. <laughs> Yeah, well that pretty much takes us to the end of that just as we drive through I think that's where we're going to end this episode thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed it please do like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one cheerio